so one of the things I'd like to talk to you about you see those little white balls that are down inside this burrow here those are called mothballs <clears throat> and mothballs are one of the old wives tale style treatments that a lot of people find on the internet that helps rid them of wildlife issues you know whether it's <laughs> quite literally it's everything from vampires to bats to rats mice armadillos raccoons you name it this stuff is supposedly this magical pill that once enacted will suddenly just eradicate the problem yet despite 50 percent of my customers that call me have at least tried this method and i'll go in i'll look in their attics i'll look under their houses i'll find you know around their homes mothballs and not to mention other deterrents that we'll get into here in a little while um they will have tried these things all around their houses whether it's in their attics around their home under their home you name it and yet they still have a problem so you just saw the mothballs down there um this customer put these things down about two weeks ago in an effort to get rid of armadillos and yet a day after i set my traps right outside of this burrow here you can see what we have so it's clearly not working so i think it's time that we start having a conversation about these um old wives tale treatments don't you All right, so earlier you saw a video of me removing an armadillo from a burrow where mothballs had been placed inside uh, in an attempt to try to, you know, eradicate, you know, the animals that had been dug digging underneath her home. Um, I've known about the mothball issue for years. I've been seeing it. I've thought about making videos of it, but just over time just decided to say, eh. Uh, you know, one of these days, one of these days, one of these days. And, um, well, a few months ago, I decided at some point, I was like, you know what, I, I really need to do this. And the reason being is because I had a lady that had, um, she, she was waking up in the middle of the night and she was hearing scratching and chewing above her head. And it was probably two o'clock in the morning. It was really frustrating and aggravating while well, she did a little bit of homework and she kind of deduced that it was probably rats. So in doing so, she said, okay, well, how do I get rid of these dang things? So she gets on that. I think she found like a homesteading website or something like that. And on there, she, they, you know, talked about the magical mothball. So she started chucking mothballs throughout her attic and thought, okay, well, you know, we've, we've taken care of this problem, right? Well, two days later, I mean, she hadn't really heard any noises or anything by then. And she thought, we're good, got this problem taken care of, right? So she had already had a trip planned, I guess, and she left for the weekend, came back home to her ceiling being collapsed in her living room floor, water all over the place, and she called a plumber thinking, okay, what on earth has happened? Plumber gets in there and finds that, well, not too long ago, she had had her water lines replaced and she went with uh, the flex tubing that, can, that she has running through her attic. Well, rats were in her attic, chewed the water lines, caused a flood in her home. The mothballs did not resolve the issue. And here's the facts. They don't ever resolve the issue. Now, the funny part about this is that as I was checking out, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go buy me a box of these so I can, you know, do this uh, little video. And as I was in the checkout line at my local grocery store, I, I was next in line, the cashier starts to ring me up and then she grabs this bo box of mothballs. Very first question she asked me is, do you have squirrels in your attic? Now, of course, she hadn't seen my, my shirt or anything at this point. Uh, but to think that this is the question that, you know, the first question that you come to when some, you see somebody with mothballs. So that kind of tells you just how widespread this, this old wives tale is. Now, 
<laughs> I had to, I, I decided to explain to her. I said, no, I said, I'm actually a nuisance wildlife professional. I'm getting ready to make a video explaining why mothballs really don't work. To which she replies, oh yeah, yeah, they do. Every time I get squirrels in my attic, I just throw some mothballs up there. It doesn't always happen quick, but generally within a, a week or two, they're, they're gone. I said, well, every time. What do you mean every time? Oh, well, you know, they'll, they'll come back eventually, but, you know, I'll just throw some more mothballs up there and then, you know, it might take another week or so and then they're gone. You're not resolving the problem that way. That's not resolving the problem. That's not making them go away. You might not hear them up there. Just because you're not hearing them doesn't necessarily mean anything. It could just mean that they're in an area that you really can't hear them moving around up there. So different attics are constructed differently. Mothballs don't work. And here's why. In a constantly changing environment, Habitat is being destroyed on, on a regular basis. You've got new sections of woods that are being basically cleared for a new subdivision, shopping mall, whatever the case might be. Golf course, especially if you're here in Florida. So these animals are now str you know, struggling to try to find new homes. They are struggling to find food and reliable places again. And if they can find an attic, or some other you know, human-based structure that has food close by, that's a very difficult thing for them to argue against. They need to eat, they need shelter, and throwing just something with an obnoxious odor is generally not gonna be enough to make them go away. They are willing to power through that, or they're gonna find, especially in case of rats, a lot of them will find drop points in walls and things like that where they can escape the odor. So while they may not like it, they're willing to tough it out because as far as they're concerned, they've still got it pretty good compared to what they've got outside where they're having to fight for homes or having to worry about predators moving in that could eat them, uh, or they're not having a local food source. So, Mothballs in and of themselves are not a deterrent. Now, of course, you know, a lot of people ask me, okay, well, if they don't work, then what do we do? How do we resolve it? The answer is, that, well, number one is that every situation can be a little bit different. It depends, A, on the animal you're dealing with. B, it also depends on where they're getting into. Uh, if it's an animal maybe trying to get your chickens or something, or if it's an animal in your attic, then your resolution for those is a little bit different, although somewhat the same. Physical barrier is your most important asset. If you get them in your attic, well, you got to seal up the attic. I mean, it, 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 to me, it just seems like the most logical thing to do. Yes, is it going to cost you a little bit of money? Sure. Now, a lot of people are going to be asking me, like, well, you know, Chris, you're just telling us this mothballs don't work because, well, if we're resolving our own problem with this, then we're not calling you. Look, you're either gonna call me or you're gonna call another wildlife professional eventually. It may not be right now, but you will eventually get exhausted with this. You will eventually get frustrated with this situation and you will call somebody because either you're gonna discover that your ductwork is being destroyed, you're gonna discover that you got a water leak like this other customer did. You're, you know, you're gonna see that your efforts are not actually uh, doing anything and you're going to probably call somebody. I'm not worried about that part. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about the amount of money that you're going to end up spending in the long run by not resolving the issue faster. It's important. You know, ductwork, um, my last customer that had to get their ductwork replaced after rats had pretty much destroyed it, it ran her nearly five grand. I can assure you in most cases, the resolution to your rat problem is going to be cheaper than that, but it, it's going to be easier and cheaper if you get to it sooner rather than later. So no, I'm not worried about the loss of business. That business is gonna come eventually. It might take a, a slight delay, but eventually it's going to be there. I'm concerned about you. I'm trying to help you because ultimately, if you continue to allow the issue going for longer, you're just gonna end up having a bigger problem later. Um, on another th note, health issues. Kills clothes, moths, and their eggs, larvae, and, and, and well, I'm sorry, 
and their eggs and larvae in clean, airtight containers, such as chests, trunks, garment bags, and storage closets. Do not use dry cleaning bags, garbage bags, or other containers that allow vapors to escape into occupied rooms. The number of times I've seen people that have had rats get into their houses and their kitchens and things like that, and they still throw these things around. That's not healthy for you. We want cures for cancer, but we keep doing things that give us exposure to toxic chemicals and things that could potentially cause cancer. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I get that this little $7 box of silver bullets you think that you got here is going to be your end-all be-all of your situation, but it's not. It's not worth the risk. Just call the professional. At the very least, get an assessment of the situation so that way you can kind of go over things with you. Uh, even if you don't have the money for it right now, at the very least, you can kind of know what you're getting in, yourself into and knowing what exactly is going on so you know what needs to be done to resolve the problem. But this isn't going to do it. I appreciate your time, folks. Thanks for, uh, for everything. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. I'd be happy to try to get to them. I am pretty busy. Um, I can't always guarantee it's going to be, you know, within hours or even the same day that you, uh, that you drop the comment or question, but I will try to get back to them as soon as possible. So thank you for your time. Until next time.